Hello everyone, welcome to a board game barbecue unboxing. This is Jules and today we're going to be having a look at Flamme Rouge. So let's uh, jump straight into it, shall we? Now this is a game for four, up to four players and it's quite a simple game. It's uh, a game where you it's simply just a racing game. You're trying to get your one of your two bike riders to the end of the finish line first and the first person that does it wins. But it's got some really unique mechanics in how it does that. So let's have a look at it, shall we? Okay. So one of the cool things about this game is that the board is not the same every time you play with it. It's uh, got lots of different boards that you can mix and match, all the different pieces. Now, it does have, by looks of it here, a start and a finish. So those are the start and finish bits there. Whoop, punched one out already. And we've got the rule book. Really, really simple rules. It is just those couple of pages that you can see there so nice and simple and what do we got here we've got some corners by the looks of it corner pieces for building the track however you want to now one of the really cool things that I've heard about this is there's an app that you can get to go along with your game so you can actually run a, a series of games and have a tournament of sorts and you know, track those wins and ultimately whoever has the best scoring at the end of those is the winner of the whole sort of um, the marathon of sorts. Now we've got two decks of cards here. Uh, let's have a look at this first one. Looks like the, uh, the player cards we've got here. So these are cards for... The S is for your sprinter. And then you've got a card for the R, which is called the Ruler, which is sort of your uh, slow and steady wins the race rider. So they have different numbers uh, in the deck here. So let's have a look. So there's twos and threes. So that's the number of spaces that you can move. And then it goes up to four. And I think the highest sprinter card, there's a six here for the ruler. There's some ex uh, exhaustion cards as well, which from my understanding is you, what you do is you sort of action program. Um, there we go. We've got some sevens in there. You action program the, the numbers of each of your riders. And what happens is if you end up at the front of the pack at the end of the the round, you actually take exhaustion cards, which are just these two movement cards here. And obviously moving two spaces is not as good as moving seven or nine. So that's how that works. If I'm all understanding it correctly. Now, the other deck of cards here that we have, looks like we've got more cards for all the players. There's some um, phase cards here more of the same. Oh, it looks like there's a few uh, track cards as well. Some different setups that you can manage to do. So you get a bit of variety in the types of races that you that you decide to run. Now, got the little bike miniatures here. Oh, these look fantastic. Now, might be a bit hard for you to see here, but they do actually have on the back of them some lettering so you know which one's your sprinter and which one's your ruler. I could be saying that totally wrong. It is French, but forgive me for it anyway. I'll just give you guys a closer look. So those are the miniatures there. As I said, up to four players. So you got black, red, blue, and green. They look great. 
And we've got player boards. So let's punch one of these out, shall we? So you've got your player board, cards for your ruler, cards for your sprinter. Really, really straightforward. But that's about all there is to it. It's it's a fun, quick game. I haven't yet played it, obviously, um, but I'm very excited to. The components are really good quality. The cards feel nice. The miniatures look fantastic. The board components are really nice and thick. There is no bending whatsoever in those components. So really, really solid. The artwork looks fantastic. It has that sort of old uh, 60s or even 50s sort of vibe for old old school bike, bike racing. Even the bikes and the miniatures look sort of like those old school, more old school sort of bikes, which is fantastic. Anyway, that's the quick unboxing. Hope you'd enjoyed it and uh, you'll definitely hear more about it on the podcast soon when I get to play it. And that's uh, Flam Rouge.